Hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. So in this video, I am going to teach you how to create a, a simple web browser using uh, Jetpack Compose. Now the actual composable function that uh, will be used in this uh, video tutorial is called a web view. And this composable function is a part of uh, a company's library. So you can read uh, more about it on this uh, official website. And before I uh, introduce you with the actual code which I have created for this uh, video, I'm going to show you how our application or our actual web browser uh, will actually function. So as you can see in this uh, application, we can see our top bar. So it contains uh, two arrows to navigate uh, back and forward in our web browser. Then we have uh, those two icons to refresh our page and to navigate to a different page as well. So this uh, checkmark icon will just allow us to uh, trigger the navigation to a certain uh, web URL that we type here in this uh, basic text field. And as you can see from here, we can just uh, type here any URL and we can just access that uh, URL uh, very easily. So for example, let's try to access here uh, facebook.com, press this uh, button. And as you can see, and also that uh, loading indicator will be visible down below. So now let's go back to our um, actual uh, uh, Google uh, web page. Just press this button, there you go. And from here, of course, we can uh, just type here anything we want. For example, I can type here uh, my YouTube channel name. As you can see, this is my website. I can then uh, open that up. I can open some other page on my uh, own website. And then with those arrows, I will be able to navigate between uh, uh, those pages that I have already visited in this uh, web browser. So as you can see, we can go uh, back and forward. We can go back all the way here. And we can also use the actual uh, back button to navigate with our web browser as well. So as you can see, if I press this back button, uh, then we're going to navigate to our previous page uh, here as well. So everything works uh, perfectly fine here. And our URL is uh, updating here in real time. So everything works uh, perfectly fine. And uh, we can also, for example, disable an internet connection. And whenever we don't have an internet connection, and we try to access some link, then this little uh, icon will show up and we are not going to be able to access that uh, page anymore. Okay, so that's how this uh, simple web browser actually uh, looks like. And now I'm going to introduce you with the actual code which I have used to actually create this uh, simple uh, web browser. So as you can see in my main activity, I have just uh, only one uh, main screen. And inside that screen, I have created a couple of states or uh, variables. Now the first variable is the actual URL which will be used as a home page to our web browser. In this case that's a Google website. Now below that here I'm using a, a state variable to actually remember this uh, web view state to which I'm passing this actual URL and this uh, state is directly passed down below uh, to our actual uh, web view uh, composable function which I'm going to talk about uh, in just a moment. Let's just go back here, okay. So after that, we also have a remember a web view navigator so that we can actually navigate uh, between our uh, pages in a web browser. And here I have also just created one uh, variable, a mutable variable, a text field value. And with this, uh, we are going to be able to uh, basically update our uh, basic text field uh, text whenever we navigate to uh, each and every page. Now, uh, down below, as you can see, uh, in our column, I have uh, one uh, top air bar, and that uh, top air bar contains uh, all those uh, action icons in this uh, web browser text. So this uh, first uh, back icon is using this uh, navigator uh, state, so we can actually trigger this navigate back function, and that we can actually navigate back to a previous page in our uh, web view. Uh, next, we have our uh, next uh, uh, icon, which is a uh, forward uh, icon and this icon is just uh, triggering a different function to navigate forward instead of a back. Then we have our web browser title and we have uh, those two icons as well. So refresh icon which is just uh, reloading our whole uh, page using this navigator uh, as well. And down below our uh, go icon or this uh, checkmark icon is just uh, changing the URL of this um, a variable which we have just added right here and whenever we update that uh, value then our web browser will immediately open up uh, that uh, same page as well. So there you go, now let's uh, proceed down below. So below uh, this uh, top bar we have uh, one row and that row contains a basic text field which is just uh, essentially displaying the actual uh, current URL of our web view. 
So as you can see, we are passing this uh, text field value as a value to this uh, basic text field. And whenever we change the text in this uh, text field, we are also updating that uh, same value. Now down below you can see that we are using this uh, state uh, value from the top and we are uh, getting this uh, errors for current request uh, value which should return basically a list of uh, errors that we receive uh, in our uh, web view. So if this value is actually not empty, in that case it means that we actually have some uh, error on our page. And in that case we are just uh, displaying here that simple warning icon that you have just uh, seen here uh, on the right side of this um, uh, basic text field. Uh, then down below we also have this um, uh, linear progress indicator which will be visible only when the state is actually loading. So from our state variable we can uh, get and receive this loading state to track whether our web page uh, is actually loading or not. So as you can see our state variable from the top contains uh, many different uh, useful properties which we can use to basically uh, check out if our page is loading, to get the page title, to get the page icon, to check out uh, if there is some uh, error, to check the loading state, the actual content and so on and so on. And of course our navigator uh, variable will allow us to basically navigate uh, with our um, uh, web view itself. There we go. So below that uh, I have also created one uh, web client and this uh, web client uh, is directly passed to our web view composable function and within this uh, web client as you can see we can override many different uh, functions here uh, from our uh, web view uh, library like uh, on page uh, finished, uh, on received errors, on received uh, HTTP errors, on received login request and so on and so on. In this case I have just um, overridden this uh, on page started um, function which will allow me to just print here some uh, message whenever we uh, start our actual page. And finally this is our web view to which we are passing that uh, state, that uh, navigator and that uh, web client as well. Now here this uh, on created um, lambda will basically allow us to check out uh, and see this actual web view and within this web view we can uh, change some uh, settings for our actual uh, a web view composable function like for example this uh, javascript enabled uh, will be set uh, manually to true and here we can check out some other different uh, settings as well uh, anyhow this is how our web uh, view composable function actually looks like so it accepts a couple of different parameters it also has one uh, default parameter which is named the capture back presses and this is parameter that will actually allow us to uh, go uh, back to our uh, web view by using our uh, back button in our smartphone device so bottom line uh, that's how our actual um, uh, web uh, browser application uh, will look like and as you can see our main screen composable function actually contains uh, almost uh, 120 lines of code which is not large number at all and also with that uh, uh, simple logic we were able to create uh, one amazing uh, simple uh, web browser application using a jetpack compose the link of this uh, source code uh, will be available down below in the video description so don't worry and also uh, be sure to comment down below and uh, like this video if you find it uh, helpful of course and uh, see you next one